Well, clearly voters have told Siena that they are very angry with what has gone on uh, in the Senate over the last month. 77% of voters, including at least two-thirds of voters in every region of the state and at least three-quarters of voters of every political party, say they are angry that the Senate wasted a month of time rather than getting work done on behalf of the people of the state of New York. 62% of voters tell Siena that they believe that voters across the state will remember what has gone on in the Senate for the last month come Election Day in November 2010. And in fact, only 31% of voters are prepared right now to re-elect their incumbent senator, whereas 40% of voters tell us they are ready to vote for an opponent, a challenger to the incumbent state senator. To show how angry voters are, 78% of voters say that what has gone on in the Senate over the last month will make it harder for important legislation, legislation that voters want, to pass this year. And 71% of voters, nearly three quarters of the voters of this state, tell Siena that they now have less confidence in state government because what is, of what has gone on in the state Senate over the last five, six weeks. Well, voters think that there is blame enough to go around for everyone, but by uh, a small margin, 21% of voters blame Senator Pedro Espada from the Bronx for what has gone on in the state Senate. 18% of voters blame Senate Republicans as a whole. Another 15% of voters blame Senate Democrats as a whole. And 12% of voters blame Governor Patterson. Well, while the Attorney General of the State of New York says that what the Governor did was unconstitutional, voters right now disagree with the Attorney General and agree with the Governor. By a margin of 51% to 34%, voters tell Siena that they think the Governor acted appropriately by appointing a new Lieutenant Governor. When it comes to who that lieutenant governor is, however, voters are not as confident in Richard Ravitch, the governor's appointee to be the new lieutenant governor, as Governor Patterson is. Uh, only 28% of voters say that Ravitch was an excellent or good choice. 50% of voters say that he was only a fair or poor choice. And in fact, most voters don't know who Richard Ravitch is. 62% uh, of voters don't know enough about him to have an opinion. And among those who do know him, 19% view him favorably, but the same 19% view him unfavorably. Well, Governor Patterson has been at record low approval ratings over the last several months. His numbers have come up, but only slightly. Right now, 36% of voters have a favorable view of David Patterson, 56% have an unfavorable view, and that's up from 31 favorable, 57% unfavorable last month. As to the job that David Patterson is doing as governor, 22% say he's doing an excellent or good job, 77%, more than three quarters of voters, say he's doing only a fair or poor job. Again, up, but only up slightly. When it comes to how he would face if the 2010 elections were being held right now, in a Democratic primary, Andrew Cuomo beats Governor Patterson by a margin of 65 to 23 percent, and former New York City Governor, uh, I'm sorry, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani beats uh, Governor Patterson by a margin of 57 to 34 percent.